Hello, everybody. This will be the most important video of my life. And again, just like the last video, I would like to make an example out of an entire situation to hopefully tell you guys not to be a dick, even if it's over the internet. It should also apply in the internet, real life, that there is someone else behind a screen or behind a face. There's someone. And you need to, well, give them the respect that you would anyone else, even if you're enemies. I respect a lot of my enemies or people that I don't really care for anymore. And I keep a lot of the stuff that happened between us private because it's private. It doesn't need to be brought up to the internet. But at this point, this has gone on long enough. I have full receipts for everything I'm going to be talking about. And I do not care. So, I was going to leave this in the past, whatever, until something happened. Now, I'm going to end this video real quick. I'm going to do a voiceover of editing that I'm going to be doing on, not a Google slide, but I can do a Google slide if that makes sense. But I'm going to be doing some talking points and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, here's the intro. We're cutting to um, a, a, actually a folder, and I'll talk over the folder. Moving on. Okay, let's start at the beginning. First of all, this was posted on July 24th, 2023. First of all, this was after we had stopped being friends. It was 22 days, actually. We had stopped being friends on July 2nd. And I know this because I looked back at our DMs, and the last images, well, DMs, were from... July 2nd. Here we go. I didn't read the full thing. I only read a certain amount because I didn't want to go any farther. And I literally wanted to respond, but he had blocked me. So, the full thing says, Know what, Cookie? I am glad you unfriended me. I feel a lot better not having to hear horse shit from some bratty white kid who thinks he knows everything just because he can't stop sucking on his mama's nipple. And doesn't know he isn't always right. L. First of all, we argued about opinions where facts were not really a fact and it was more subjective. We had never truly argued about facts. We more so argued about opinions and therefore no one was right. I never said I was right. I never acted like I was right. I only wanted to defend my opinions. First of all, someone who is bratty is not actually me. I can look up a definition and it would be proven wrong instantly. First of all, a bratty person would not have two parents that work two different jobs. My dad works and my mom works. Bratty would mean I have a lot of privilege and I don't. First of all, I didn't finish the school system. So, does that sound like privilege? If I were privileged, I'd be in college by now. But I'm not. I'm considered a high school dropout in ninth grade. That's not very privileged. Also, a lot of my earlier past that I'm not going to bring up would also bring up the fact that I'm not very privileged. I was treated as a disabled person when I have no disabilities. Specifically, mental disabilities. I don't have any Besides going to therapy on the 2nd of August, which provides some background, but right now, it's unconfirmed. So, can't confirm anything right now. And then he says, you are the definition of a fucking white bratty Fortnite kid. First of all, I don't like, I don't like Fortnite. This is the second time he's brought up the fact that I happen to be white. Why does that matter? Why does my skin color matter? I've already brought up the fact that I'm not a very privileged person. As a white person. So why does me being white matter? Simply put, it actually doesn't. Um, because me being white doesn't matter at all. I live in isolation and seclusion from the outside world. Uh, I have, surprisingly or unsurprisingly, depending on how you feel about it, 
no real life friends and i live two miles outside of a town i don't know what that tells you but it tells me that i'm not a very privileged person and i don't have very much privilege one you have a fucking vitamin d deficiency because you don't go outside and meet people instead you make pointless arguments on lego anime games first of all that's half of that can be directed towards yourself Good job. The second half, which is the first half, one problem with that. I literally, on July 23rd, went out to a whole town known as Leavenworth, where I live, and spent the entire day outside. I was outside between 10 in the morning and 4 p.m., and then I got home and went to bed. On top of that, ever since I found out I had a vitamin D deficiency, which was before July 24th, by the way, not July 2nd, but, well, actually, no. We weren't friends when I found out I had a vitamin D deficiency, so this is just extra for no reason. Because I went to my uh, doctor somewhere around July 14th. I don't remember the exact day. So, vitamin D deficiency thing is completely out the window when I take a supplement for vitamin D. I go outside more than often, more than I used to. Um, right now it's rainy, so I don't really see a point in going outside. Um, and the pointless arguments on Lego games, Lego anime games specifically, Kyria does the exact same thing. And it's also based entirely on opinion. So this does not matter. Uh, second, you act like you know everything just because you got kicked out of school and never told you were wrong by your parents. This is entirely incorrect. First of all, I act like I know everything because I got kicked out of school immediately disproves your brat, quote unquote, brat opinion. If you get kicked out of school, you can't be a brat because you're no longer privileged. Because school is a privilege. It's not a right. So, good job there. First of all, I also don't have a driver's license. Um, let's bring up a lot of things that uh, would be privileged here. I don't have a driver's license. I don't have a job. I don't go to school. Do you see any um, correlations to not being privileged here? Damn. Um... I got kicked out of school. Yep, that's true. However, I don't act like I know everything. I know certain things. I know what I know based off my own opinions and what I've been told is correct. So, yeah. And we're talking about an opinion, so it can't be fact. So, I can't be right about it. I'm always right in my own way because it's my opinion and I'm entitled to an opinion. But everyone is, so that doesn't make you privileged to be entitled to your own opinion, because everyone is, so it's not, that's just a rite of passage. Uh, never told you were wrong by your parents. This is also incorrect. I get into fights with my parents less often than when I was like 12, but I do. It happens every once in a while. And I'm constantly told I'm wrong by my parents when we're in arguments, even when we're talking about something casually, I'm wrong about things, and they teach me otherwise. So again, this is just wrong. Also, speaking on behalf of my parents that you don't know or talk to is just stupid. You have no idea what my private life is like with my parents. Literally, even earlier in the year, the reason I even went to go see my doctor and get therapy was because I got mad at my parents for no reason. And I had an outburst for no reason when I was clearly in the wrong. And I knew that. So, again, you have no idea what my relationship is like with my parents. Three, you jump boyfriends faster than Mexicans jump Trump's wall. I don't need to explain anything about that statement. I do not need to say anything about that statement. First of all, at the time, I was with a girlfriend and not a boyfriend. And second of all, 
that last half is just racist to Mexicans. And I just read that statement. I can now add everything in here. Not only is this guy racist to white people and considers all white people privileged, no matter their circumstances, but also Mexicans being illegal immigrants by jumping the wall. I'm sorry. Let's move on. Four, you start yelling when you are losing a fight because you think you are a big man when you weigh less than a 15-year-old kid. First of all, I do that out of anger, not because I'm losing. I do that even when I'm winning an argument. So, yeah, you're just wrong. And also, you think you're a big man. No, I don't. I actively know I weigh very little. Like, I think maybe you need to get your facts about my personal life better. Uh, when you weigh less than a 15-year-old kid, that is true. That is the only true part about that statement. Have a for horrible fucking life, you white piece of shit. Again, bringing up the fact I'm white for no reason. This, this doesn't need to be brought up. Again, white does not need to be brought into the thing. Mexicans don't need to be brought up. White people don't need to be brought up. Th this makes no sense. Some things I can see as valid arguments or points from your own perspective, but you have to bring race into it. You have to bring weight into it. You have to bring insults into it that just don't need to be brought into it. And my only response to this at the time was, so all you want to do is start another argument? And I couldn't send that because it was blocked. That says a lot. It really does. I don't even know how long this video is. And I've just been talking about the first piece. Let's talk about the next. Husk Husky Wusky. This is Curious Alt Account. First of all, I left out any of the information or extra information. I just wanted this screenshot for the next post, which is Husk Wusky, which is the same person on Roblox. This is Curious Roblox Alt Account. And the only two friends it has is me and Colt. Um, you can even go to that Roblox account if you want. You can look it up. It's Husk Wusky. It's not that hard to find. And the only game we played together was Toilet Tower Defense. And immediately he wanted to start an argument on that. But let's move on. This is proof that he was even in my Discord server. And how I even had his Discord information in the first place. If you want to know, the friend rule is orange, and I only gave Hus Husky Wusky the friend rule because he couldn't talk in private VC chat. Not like talk as in speak out loud, but I mean type. So that rule was given only for that purpose, which I would not have done for anyone else. And I was only doing it to be nice. Let's talk about the origins of Husky Wusky which is the Trading Perm Kilo Simulator video. The only reason Husky Wusky exists is because of the comments that Curia left where I had made another video. These are the comments on that video with Husky Wusky being in the comments. Moving on, we have the actual comments that Curia left on my post. If you want to know what was said, here's the screenshot. You can pause it, review it, whatever. I'm sorry for the low quality. This was taken off of the YouTube video because, well, first of all, I deleted the original comments because I just didn't want Kyria on my channel anymore. Uh, here's the comments continued. If you want to read it, again, pause the video. You're more than welcome to. Moving on, we have the end, which is an apology, which I want to bring up the apology. Kyria asked me, to, this is my friend Eddie, by the way, no hate to him, he's still friends with Kyria and I don't care, that's, that's up to him. Kyria asked me to send you this, I apologize for her harassing and even though I didn't mean to, I'll try not to do it again. If you accept this, I promise not to stalk you, follow you, or in any way contact you via YouTube, social medias, or games. I just don't want any bad grudges 
or this to be taken any farther. So let's put this behind us and go our separate ways. First of all, the first pat the this is a half-assed fucking apology. I'm giving my full opinion on this. I apologize for harassing, and even though I didn't mean to, I'll try not to do it again. The fact that this went as far as it did, the fact that this started on July 24th, and then after that, hadn't really stopped except for like a couple of days in between. This is just more than extra. On top of that, I don't believe it wasn't meant to be. I don't believe Kyria didn't mean to. That to me is a half-assed fucking apology. And then we have the blackmail of if you accept. Problem with that. If I accept, then Kyria will not stalk me, follow me, or in any way contact me via YouTube, social medias, or games. But only if I accept. Yeah, I'm not accepting. I don't accept due to blackmail. You gotta try a little harder than that. I just don't want any bad grudges or this to be taken any farther, so let's put this behind us and go our separate ways. First of all, after this video is posted, that last part of let's put it behind us and go our separate ways, I agree. I couldn't agree more, and I want this to end. But this isn't ending because you want me to accept an apology. Oh no. That's not how this works. I want this to be put on full display. This is what you do not do in a situation like this. If you acknowledge you're wrong, acknowledge that you're wrong and apologize for everything and do not try to blackmail. The blackmail here being if I accept. Because people are going to say, but he's not blackmailing you with like images or anything like that. No, he's blackmailing me with if I accept, he will not stalk me. He will not follow me. And he will not contact me via YouTube, social medias, or games. But again, only if I accept. And this is why I'm not accepting. That line by itself is the entire reason I'm not accepting this apology. If it wasn't a, I apologize for harassing, I'm sorry, blah, 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 I would have been fine with it. Leaving that in there makes it seem like you only care about me getting off your ass for the bullshit you've done. First of all, I don't accept the apology. Second of all, it's half-assed to begin with. And third of all, this was said because I said I was going to make a video to finally end the controversy and the drama. I had known for two days that Huskwaski was Kyria since August 5th, and I had left it out, and I didn't talk about it because I didn't want to. So this is what I'm leaving here. I'm firmly leaving this drama here. I will not be talking to Kyria after this unless the situation progresses. I'm also going to be banning any Kyria alts from my Discord server, and I will be flat out hiding every single user that is Kyria if I find out about it. And because I did not accept the apology, and I'm not going to, Kyria will in fact, stalk me, follow me, and contact me via any video games. Anyway, that's it. That is the end of this video. That is the end of this drama. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed my little whatever here. Bye-bye.